Hello, 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 and welcome to the giveaway info section of the video. If you'll take a look at your screen, you'll see exactly what we're giving away on this video. And no, this is definitely not pre-recorded. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, let's get started. New content is being added to Rune Saga with every week that passes, and with new content comes new gear to obtain. The first tier 80 set introduced to Rune Saga was the Psychic set obtained from Mewtwo, but now a tier 80 melee set has made its way into Rune Saga, obtainable by fighting the newest piece of boss content added into the game, Naraxxus the Devourer. In order to gain access to Naraxxus, you must first defeat his three underlings, Vixilus, Kelmoris, and Malthus, in order to obtain a head, a claw, and a tail to awaken Naraxxus from his slumber. I'm going to make this guide as thorough, but also as simple as possible, so buckle up because it's time to get this show on the road. Starting with the requirements, firstly you will need 90 Slayer in order to fight Naraxxus. Another requirement I am going to strongly suggest is to have at least Tier 4 Soul Rod for all styles. There is AoE involved in every aspect of this piece of content, so the higher Tier Soul Rod you have, the better. Let's go over the inventory and gear setups for the Demi Bosses. I find that 6 Super Restores, 2 Angler Fish, 2 Boosting Potions for whatever style you're using, and at least 25 mil to create the instance, and 17 Brews is enough for me to finish the full 100 AoE KC and 10 Demi Boss KC for each trip. This inventory will work for each Demi Boss. As for the gear setup, the minimum I would recommend is full tier 4 Soul Rot, mainly because of how tanky it is, but also because it requires no switches to activate AoE. Be sure to bring the best accessories you have access to, as every stat boost you can bring counts. For each demi boss room, there will be an AoE phase where you need to gather 100 KC in order to face the room's leader. These mobs all have a 1 in 5,000 chance to drop an ingredient pertaining to whichever room you are currently in. It's a nice little surprise, but don't expect it to happen too often. Once you've reached 100 KC, the minions will despawn and the demi boss will appear. If you're in the mage's room, you'll want to use range. If you're in the melee room, you'll want to use magic. And if you're in the range room, you'll want to use melee. There are times when these demi bosses will summon fire all around the room except for 9 tiles in a 3x3 area, which will be outlined during their attack phase. Simply run to the square of safe tiles in order to avoid constant burn damage. And that's pretty much the only notable mechanic you need to know about these demi bosses. Continue instancing each demi boss until you have received at least one head of Vixilus, tail of Malthus, and claw of Kelmoros. Once you've achieved these three ingredients, you are ready to take on Naraxxus the Devourer. The gear I'd recommend for Naraxxus would pretty much be the same as the demi bosses. Its weakness is magic, so if you're using a psychic staff as your main hand, be sure to bring your Soul Rod staff to deal with a potential AoE phase as well. For the inventory, you're going to need one anti-fire pot, one anti-dragon shield, your AoE staff if you aren't using it as your main weapon, two super restores, three brews, one set of ingredients, and fill the rest of your inventory with anglerfish. With every set of ingredients you sacrifice, you will open an instance with a guaranteed 10kc, so there is no pressure to understand this boss immediately. Take your time and learn at your own pace. With that in mind, let's go over the mechanics. Naraxxus has four main special attacks that you'll need to know. The first one would be a swan dive that will happen in increments of three. He will fly into the sky and crash back down on the area you're standing in. All you need to do to avoid this attack is to move off the tile you're standing on when he initiates his attack. Repeat this three times to completely avoid this attack phase. The next special attack would be a crater he will spawn underneath you that deals 25 damage. Another simple mechanic to avoid, all you have to do is to move to a different tile to completely avoid all damage from this attack phase. The third special attack is unavoidable damage, but it is reducible. He will summon fire all around the room, but all you have to do is to take a sip of your anti-fire potion and equip your anti-dragon shield. This will reduce the passive damage taken by a considerable amount. He will continue to attack you during this burn phase, but just sip your brews and restores until the fire subsides, then you can switch back to your main offhand accessory. And the final, and probably most annoying, phase would be the minion phase. Naraxxus will retreat into his wing cocoon and his followers will start to heal him. Treat this like a Jad healer phase by clicking each minion to make sure they are not continuing to heal Naraxxus as you get rid of them. You cannot damage Naraxxus during this phase, but he will not damage you either. Once the healers are taken care of, the fight will continue. Follow these steps and you will master this new piece of content in no time. And maybe, just maybe, you'll get a little lucky like me. <gasps> oh, we got a fucking emerald. Oh my god, no way, dude. Yeah. That's used for upgrades, man. No way. Oh, we got a body. We got a demon hunter body. Holy shit. We got a body. Oh my god. 
Holy crap, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, 19 kill count. We've got an emerald and a body. I can't. I am just, I'm speechless. <laughs> Oh, we got one more kill up in this instance, bro. That's, I'm just, I'm not even gonna luck card for this. I'm just gonna rip it off like a band-aid. Let's, I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> Honey, huh. I got two drops from this boss during in my 10kc. Okay. Isn't that insane? It is. Say how happy you are for me. I'm so f***ing happy for you. I never thought this day would go. <laughs> I got one more kill left. Are you think I'll get another drop? Yep. You think I will? I'm good. Another drop. What am I getting, dude? Something with purple in it. <laughs> Something with purple in it. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that purple? That's blue. Look at that shit! We got three collection logs and ten kills. Are you kidding? <laughs> and that is exactly how you kill Naraxxus, boys. Just get the drop! <laughs> The most anticipated part of this update would have to be the new demon boss that gives tier 80 melee armor, but there is so much more in this update that people aren't talking about, dude. We have brand new best in slot slayer helms and amulets, a new melee body called the champion's torso, and much more items added into deluxe and lucky chests. Holy shit, a double head drop! What is that? I have never seen that before! Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Crap! You know what? I've never gotten a double ingredient before, so I deserve that. I don't care, dude. Yes, finally, dude. Yes, sir. That is eight full sets, which means we have enough sets to completely finish our 100 Naraxxus the Devourer kills for our achievement. I'll see you guys after the stream because I'm doing all 80 kills on stream, fellas. Yahoo! The next day. Ugh, we did like 40 kills on stream and got absolutely nothing, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that's demotivated me pretty, pretty heavily, man. We did get two gems and a body in 20 KC, so we kind of deserve it, but like, come on, bro. Oh, that is not a unique, I got excited, you piece of shit. Oh, I'm not mad, uh, whatever, I'm gonna do, whatever, it's fine, it's, it's, it's good, it's good, it's good. Imbued atomic amulet attempt number one, and... Oh, we saved it. Oh my God, we saved our emerald, dude, it's a sign. Please, we get another chance, dude, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh, dude, <laughs> I can't be asked, bro, no way, <laughs> yeah, don't mind me, dude, just casually getting the best in slot range amulet, <laughs> bro, I am so spooned, whatever, dude, that's a fat W, fellas, holy moly, and thank you for the daggers, oh! <gasps> Oh my god, <laughs> dude, we're two pieces, two out of four pieces done. <laughs> All we need is daggers and the legs. Daggers, legs, ruby, and the whole log is finished, but daggers and legs, and we have a full demon hunter set, bro, no way. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I fucking love Naraxxus, dude. Favorite boss update so far. You beautiful, ugly son of a bitch. That is the Demon Hunter achievement completed. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. That means we get one deluxe chest and one 10 scroll. Very nice, dude. Pop open that deluxe real quick. And we get the Necronomicon. Not even terrible. My phone's ringing. Oh, we got another body. Oh, we got another body. Holy shit, dude. Give me, dude. That's a free 20 bill, boys. And I mean, damn, it looks good in the bank, dude. All right, fellas, listen. We've done 200 Naraxxus KC since the release, and I think this is probably a really good time to wrap up this episode. I'm not even mad with our total collection log so far. I, I, I can't be. I'm pretty much on rate, so. And, I mean, we did get one of our three amulet upgrades so far, so I cannot complain. We will more than likely be back here again in the next episode, but I also want to focus on collection logs, so it definitely won't be the only main focus of the video. As always, thank you all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous bastards in the next one. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair. Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of dudes and All you're left with is a menacing stare
stare Watch that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth